Crews are still on scene of a fire in Glade Park, the Kings Canyon fire up by the Colorado National Monument. What was 20 acres now exceeds 200 and the fire is yet to be contained. Timber Schumann has an update. A lightning strike and a dry storm sparked a fire in Glade Park near the Utah border on Sunday. It's hot, it's dry, it's windy. It's very remote country. It's 0% contained right now. So whenever it gets more into those trees, you might see those darker fuels. Multiple engines from Glade Park, Mesa County, and BLM are all working to tackle this problem, though the steep canyon walls and limited rough roads make it hard to get to the front line. The Kings Canyon fire, which is now over 200 acres, is right behind me here, tucked over the monument where it starts to slope down into Utah. BLM officials tell me the reason you don't see the smoke from the fire is because during the day, the hottest parts of the day, the fire starts to die down and the smoke starts to dampen. Now, that doesn't mean it's anywhere near contained. In fact, it's not right now. We even have our wildfire team deployed to a fire in another state to help out with them. Community outreach specialist Ellis Thompson tells me the Grand Junction Fire Department worries about both the wildfire approaching homes and a house fire turning into a wildfire, especially with some of the resources already expended across the country. Yesterday, we had a fire along the interstate, several fires from a truck being towed that blew a tire. And just the other week, we had another fire at one of our state parks. This plane here has dropped several smoke jumpers off on fires in the area. Fire management specialist for the Upper Colorado River District, Mike Jones, tells me this plane isn't used on the Kings Canyon fire, but rather a heavy air tanker, Type 3 helicopter, multi-mission aircraft, and air attack plane. We have some of those single engine air tankers on standby here if they're needed this afternoon. And that they were. These four planes were called out to a fire near Fort Collins in Alexander Mountain. You can see the planes filling up with retardant, a chemical dropped in front of the fire line to prevent further spread. Just Sunday alone, 50,000 gallons of retardant from this base was used across multiple fires. So we've had 97 wildfires this year. So that's from the Utah border up to the Eisenhower Tunnel. Grand Junction locals tell me it's all too easy to notice the landscape burning around us. It makes it really hard to breathe when you have trouble breathing anyway, and there's nothing we can do about it until it rains, which is not happening right away. It makes the air look gross some days. It's kind of hard for me because I have a breathing problem. Are you nervous about any fires creeping into town, or do you feel like it's going to stay more on the outskirts? More than likely, I think it'll stay on the outskirts, but, you know, it's destroying our beautiful land. So we would like people to prepare, clear out vegetation, dead dry needles, things like that that could catch on fire. The first five feet of a home being fire free. As for the Kings Canyon fire. No property threatened at this point. Timber Schumann, Carrie X.